is up humanoid nation so today's video i'm reacting to is by far parts i was gonna say fart parts fun known it is the 10 best and 10 worst stunner shells in wwe history now stone cold steve austin has some good stuns what am i talking about whoever takes his stunner has to sell it really good or else it looks like shit the one person that always makes it look bad is Vince McMahon. He just drops down to his knees and just dies. Everyone else, like The Rock, just bounces all over the place and, like, he does it well. But let's see what we have here today. Like, the 10 worst and 10 best center stealths. Let's go. The Mount Rushmore of finishing moves are as follows Sweet Chin Music, the F5, the RKO, and in the Abe Lincoln position, the Stone Cold Stunner. It's not yeah. just because it was used by one of the coolest wrestlers in history from first hand experience of being at wrestling shows when cameras stop rolling, wrestlers become giddy as school children when they get the chance to hit each other with stunners. After Steve Austin had his final and very, very silly match in Dallas, Texas, it got us thinking about the very best Stone Cold Stunners the Rattlesnake ever hit in his storied career, and what would the very best be if they weren't also presented alongside the very worst. I'm Adam from Parts Fun Known, and here are 10 best and 10 worst stunners in WWE history. And if you don't want Ollie Davis to hit you with a Stone what Cold Stunner, this? you better like and subscribe to Parts Fun Known. We make again. all sorts of very silly Whatever stuff here, and we'd like you to check it out and get notified whenever we make it. So subscribe and make sure your notifications are turned on. Honorable mention, Austin Theory WrestleMania 38. Congratulations must go to Austin Theory, who some somehow managed to deliver one of the best and then also one of the worst stunner cells in history at Mania 38 two weeks ago. Jumping 12 feet in the air like he just stepped oh, on a landmine. Oh yeah, that was really, That's he did good, the But then bouncing the around rock. on the mat afterwards like a flubberized Shawn Michaels who's already very flubberized indeed. He did the That's rock bad. and Shawn Worst number 10, Vince, Raw, September it's 22nd, 1997. Landmark moments in wrestling history don't always have to be good. See also the finger poke of doom, WrestleMania 9 and Sid. In September 97, just Austin Sid? hit Vince with the chairman's on, very first things. stunner. And like the first time you do anything as a kid, any, Vince but he's done it some up. Essentially the world's most historically significant snapmare, Vince awkwardly floats over Austin like he's going in for an unreciprocated cuddle. You only get one chance to make what a first the fuck impression, was that? I guess. Best number 10, Bret Hart, Survivor Series 96. In terms of drama, pop, and bombast, this probably ranks as one of the worst stunners, but hey, look, this list is gonna get real silly real fast. So it's probably good to start with an actually halfway realistic sell. And if there's one man for whom wrestling is real and has always been been real, it's Bret Hart. At Survivor Series 96, in their underrated classic, Austin nailed Hitman with a stunner that legit- Would you believe I still never seen this match? The only match I've seen from them is WrestleMania. I need to go see this match. I really do. Legitimately looks like it broke Bret's jaw. A nuanced Stone Cold stunner. Only Bret Hart could. Worst number nine, Byron Saxton, Raw, March 16th, 2020. I mean, this entire segment oh, blows hard in the turbine anyway. It was the first Raw in lockdown and WWE did not know how to handle it. It's out of sheer panic they put together a Steve Austin segment where Byron Saxton rated Austin's catchphrases out of 10, shared oh a God. beer with Austin because he's never watched wrestling before, then Austin hit him with a stunner which involved kicking Byron accidentally directly in the penis before dropping oh, him in abject oh. silence. Awful. Best number 9, Santa Raw, what December 22nd, 1997. If we're being honest, a stunner hasn't looked like it really hurts in a while, ever since The Rock wrestlers tried to outdo each other with how silly they can sell the novelty move. It feels very weird to say that honestly, one of the few people that actually made it look like a proper painful mega death move is Santa Claus. God, wrestling's weird. Christmas 97, Wait. Santa Claus turned up, was rude to a tiny Uso, implied Austin like tiddlywinks, and Stone Cold killed him for it. Look at Santa being planted right on that shoulder. Oh, Bang! Damn. Ring the sleigh bell. Worst number eight, Jason Arndt, Superstars, May Ooh. 99. 96. One of the main reasons the that Stone Cold Stunners are so wonderful is the huge crowd reaction. Every time Big Steve drops someone, we're transported back to the Attitude Era and air quotes, better time, and everyone celebrates very, very loud. This Stone Cold Stunner to Jason Arndt on a May 1996 episode of Superstars was the first ever stunner Austin hit on camera. Oh, Don't let shit, WWE lie to you and say his stunner to Savio time. Vega at King of the Ring in June was the first. It's actually this one. This stunner happens with zero is... fanfare and barely... That was Joey Abs. Even any reaction yeah. from the commentators. Another historic moment, thoroughly underwhelming. Great sell, though. Good job, future Joey Abs. Best oh, number he eight. Just said we Joey Abs, yeah, yeah. Because he was the actual wrestler of the group of the Mean Street Posse. You had to put a real wrestler in there. 
Best, William Regal, Raw, September 25th. William Regal, Raw, September yes. 25th, 2000. This is just funny. It's funny. I mean, William Regal's involved, one of wrestling's greatest ever comedians. That makes sense. So Raw was emanating from Penn State University in September 2000. So Willie Regal comes out and announces he's going to read the entirety of Hamlet out loud. He gets two lines in. Austin arrives, walks into the ring, drops Regal with a stunner, and then immediately leaves while his music is still I'd playing. Love that. It's just I'd miss really that, great. Really. Worst number seven, Devon Dudley, Raw. Or July 17th, 2001. One of the worst stunners in one of the best Stone Cold segments ever. The go home roar before the invasion pay per view. Oh, the, the return the of the what old happened? Stone Cold. As the alliance old to destroy Stone Vince Mania back to the do? WWF faithful, Austin returned to even the odds and started handing out stunners. One of these stunners went to Devon, who took it by falling backwards and oh, not forwards. It's not the worst thing in the world, just one of Raw's best ever segments and a big old botch right in the middle of it. Best number seven. Stephanie McMahon, Raw, February 19th, 2001. Proof positive that while mom and pop McMahon can't take a stun to save their lives and don't worry, we'll get to Linda. Turns out the inability to take one does skip a generation. We'll come to Shane later in the list, but check out this wonderful bit of business. The Road to No Way Out 2001, Austin Triple H was set to fight in the three stages of Hell match under the condition that if either laid a hand on the other before that match, Austin would lose his title shot at Mania and Trips would be suspended. The week before, Steph slapped Austin, so he returned the favor with a hell of a stunner made so much better by, first of all, Steph's great selling, but also by Triple H's amazing rage acting yeah, in the immediate Triple aftermath. H's it's a fantastic off. segment. Well done. Worst number six, Michael Cole, Raw, June 6th, 2011. Oh, Michael Cole, Michael why Cole. are you so Michael Cole? A few weeks before the pipe bomb in June 2011, Austin returned to Raw. While he was there, he made a point of slapping the oh mys out of Cole, who was in the no, middle of this kind of wonderful it. but mostly dreadful heel run. Austin dropped him with a stunner, and then after taking the move that's killed Seeing heel Michael Cole, no sell a stunner is a Lovecraftian combination asshole. of different horrors. Best number six, Booker T, Royal Rumble 2002. Austin and Booker T's rivalry might just be pound for pound the funniest WWE rivalry in history. Short, sweet, stuffed full of hilarious segments and punctuated by this, one of the funniest stunner cells ever. Oh, yeah, in the 2002 Rumble Rooney, match, Booker T stunner, entered, eliminated. did his Booker thing. He also went for a Spinner Rooney and as soon as the Spinner Rooney was over, he turned into a stunner which catapulted him straight out of the ring see you bye you worst later, number Booker five team. tim white sunday night oh, heat tim 6th white, of june 99 imagine if today roman reigns just randomly showed up on main event and started dropping everyone with spears in june 1999 austin went on a stunning frenzy on sunday night heat repeatedly running down to the ring and killing everyone with little or no provocation during one of these stunner parties he turns his attention to some ring officials mike kyoda eats a stunner and hey good job mike then it's tim white's turn and his cell is not wise look uh, at the He's a referee that. guy. Drive a bus of through course. that gap between the two of them. Of Best number five, Scott Hall, Mania 18. Feels low, oh, doesn't Scott it? But trust me, I've saved some beauties for the rest of this list. The late, great Scott Hall's second run in the WWE that was marred by some bad booking and a premature departure, but he did manage to leave us with one of the all-time great Stone Cold Stunner cells, a restaurant-quality WrestleMania stunner. At Mania 18, instead of wrestling Hogan, Austin faced Scott Hall, hit him with one stunner, then followed up immediately with a second one, and Hall just trampolines into space space it glorious. Worst yeah. number four, oh, Donald Trump, Mania yeah. 23. Frankly, yeah. we can all agree on one thing, and that Stone Cold Steve Austin has stunned too few presidents, and there's still time, Steve. Send Joe into space. At Mania 23, Joe Vince put his real he hair on the line against Donald Trump's fictional hair, with Austin as a special guest referee. Trump's team won, and Donald celebrated by having the very first beer of his life in the ring with Stone Cold, who then dropped him with a stunner, and f**k me. I mean, he gets the bend down, correct, but then forgets what to do when the move has been hit. He just kind uh, of flannels around before collapsing like a drunk toddler. Best number four, Triple H after Raw, 18th of October, 1999. After Triple Raw? H takes a f***ing beauty of a stunner. Look at this from Unforgiven 1999. Big mistake, champ. He's just got that hair whip down right. Willow Smith would be proud. But my favorite Triple H stunner has actually come from an unaired segment of Raw in 1999, a few weeks after Unforgiven. After the show went off the air to send the crowd home happy, Austin just keeps hitting stunners on Triple H, each one comedy sold to perfection, ending with a stunner that sends Triple H backwards over the ropes, spitting beer as he lands on the outside. It is nice. magnificent. Worst number three, Linda McMahon, Raw Homecoming yeah, 2005. McMahon I mean, how could not you not elect this woman twice? Screen. She's impervious to Stone Cold Stunners. Do you need that, that in a government official? Face. Just look at Trump uh, rather than, no, 
God no, don't look at Trump. In 2005, Raw made a homecoming to the USA Network and celebrated by having Austin Stunner all for McMahon. Everyone else took it like a champ. Might actually be Vince's best stunner cell. Look at him go. All of them work out, except for Linda, who executed a fantastic counter by twisting out of it, sliding to the floor, and playing dead. Linda McMahon is a wily possum. A wily, unelectable possum. Best number three, Randy Orton Survivor Series 2003. You don't get people talking about this stunner nearly enough. One of the best ever Survivor Series elimination matches saw Team Bischoff one. versus Team like Austin with a Rattlesnake's GM career on the line. It's a really great match with an all-time great babyface performance by Shawn Michaels, punctuated by an all-time great stunner from Austin Damn, to Randy, Randy Orton, who turns inside Damn. out and flops into the ropes like a sausage where he remains. It is very, very funny. Worst number two, Vince McMahon, WrestleMania 38. Trust well, me, he's, he's done worse. Well, I promise. WrestleMania 38 was the silliest time. mania potentially ever and was also a huge amount of simple wrestling fun to watch. Amongst all the chaos was Vince McMahon wrestling a match at the ripe old age of too many old after pinning Pat and McAfee. But honestly, why not? Austin hit the stunner and Vince and oh man, talk about the end of an era. Vince takes the kick, collapses, stumbles back. Austin tries to help him through it, but when it all collapsed, even Austin can't help but laugh. And honestly, it's kind Kind of just wonderful bollocks, but it yeah. is also very bollocks indeed. Best number two, The Rock. Take Any your pick. Them. Too many to choose from. The Any Rock made overselling the stunner flying. into a legacy. There's the stunner which Rock pops up from mid-beer. The one that he takes stumbles around into a belt shot. The infamous stunner at Mania X7. The stunner at Backlash 99 where Rock's filming Austin. Then he's caught with a stunner. And then later when they show the instant replay, you see an entire POV shot of a stunner in motion. It is great fun. Or my personal favourite, the one before Mania 19 where Austin hits him with the stunner. Rock just stands there dead on his feet. Austin raises him up, tries to frame him with his hands and then hits him with a second one. The Rock has made a body of work of being bodied by Austin's work. Worst number one, Vince McMahon, Raw, 29th October, yeah, 2001. Been. This is worse. The stunner at WrestleMania 38 is at least fun. Look at Steve Austin. He's having a lovely time. This is oh no. October 2001 and it's after Austin had returned heel and joined the Alliance. The main event of this particular episode of Raw was Vince McMahon versus Shane McMahon. God, the invasion was weird. The match yep. ended with everyone rushing the ring, everyone hitting each other with moves and chairs and shenanigans. In amongst the chaos comes a stunner to Vince and just look at it. Vince stumbles, delays, what Austin the hell? slips, lands on his back and they just try and move on. It's awkward and no fun and the crowd is like, Oh, and it's just the worst. Vince, how many of these have you taken? Why are you so bad at taking stunners all the time? Dreadful. And best number one, Shane McMahon, Unforgiven 2000. And McMahon's taken my least favorite stunner, so of course McMahon's taken my favorite. I that is favorite so, so wrestling. Completely it. understand that people prefer The Rock's comedy clowning, but for me, this is stunner perfection from every aspect. At Unforgiven 2000, Austin returned oh, to find one. out who Never ran him mind. down at Survivor Never Series mind. the year before. Shane arrived to frame Steve Blackman. Blackman eats a perfectly acceptable stunner and Austin and Shane share a beer. Then Austin realizes he's been tricked and then it's just so great. The look of realization on Shane's face, the stunner, the impact, it actually looks like it hurts. The perfect spurt of beer from Shane's mouth, the camera zooming out at just the right time to capture the crowd ovation. Austin hurling his beer behind him and vaulting the turnbuckle all the way down the line. It is a perfect example of one of the greatest wrestling moves ever created yeah, and that's our really list what's your well. favorite stone cold stunner let us know in the comments don't forget to like and like i said before the best stunners sells is by the rock because he just goes to town austin fury did the thing but then he did the Shawn michaels thing with hulk hogan and SummerSlam. but yeah vince mcmahon is definitely the worst one or linda mcmahon because i guess she's just a zombie but vince mcmahon is hmm, i don't know but yeah my opinion, the worst ones are like the Vince McMahon, and the best one is by Rock. Anyways, that's it for now, Human Nation. Human Oil Freak out. Bye. Pasito a pasito, suave, suavecito. Nos vamos pegando poquito a poquito. Cuando tú me ves.